Hey, it's Dr. Fred, and amongst the frenzy and the chaos and the hysteria and the fear of survival of the coronavirus, once again, we talk about, man, the answer to this is psychology, right? We're given a, a second chance. History is repeating. Chiropractic is what got put on the map from 1918 from the influenza, and I specifically invited uh, Dr. Shane and Dr. Kayla. How are you guys doing? Thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Dr. Fred. Hi. Because you guys are probably in one of the worst cities. You're in, you're right outside, I mean, right next to downtown Seattle. And we mm. were talking before this because downtown Seattle looks like that movie with Will Smith, I Am Legend, like where there's nothing. There's probably already weeds popping up out of the sidewalk. Yeah. The whole town is deserted, yet people are driving through this desolate town to get to your office to get adjusted because they already live the lifestyle. That's right. How cool is that? Pretty amazing. Totally cool. Well, and you guys who've been through this training because you learned psychology. And, you know, you guys are obviously a young couple, new practice, but there's no fear of you're not living in fear. You're living in confidence. You've already spent a year, almost a year in the psychology. So tell us what's going on in downtown Seattle. What's happening? What are your patients saying? Your percent kept appointments. Let's hear your story. Yeah, I mean, we started with you about a year ago. So like you're saying, like we really have immersed ourselves in the training and learning the mindset and really have started in the last year talking to our patients a lot differently than we were before. So our patients, I mean, we had 97% kept appointments on Friday. So our patients are coming to us knowing that this is the healthiest place that they can be, the place to get their bodies really strong and on top of that, we've created leaders in the community because definitely patients, I mean, their coworkers, their friends are like, I can't believe you're leaving your house right now. I mean, most people aren't even leaving their houses for two weeks. So our patients are telling their friends that they should get checked out. They should be here, that adjustments are really going to help heal their body from the inside out, strengthen their body from the inside out. So if anything, it's really helped strengthen our community and helped really reach a lot of people. Well, and so, of course, we hear that, yeah. yet what's going on in the community around you? So so that has meaning, and other docs say, well, you know, that's normal or whatever, but when you look at what's going on in your environment, tell us what's happening in downtown Seattle, what they're telling people, and what's, that will have meaning when you know what the, that the, yeah. mass, the, the mass hysteria that they are overcoming. Yeah, I mean, the whole city is shut down. All the major tech companies, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Tab, Salesforce, Adobe, they're all shut down. Everybody's working from home. Uh, so there's no one. There's no, there's no one. one. I mean, restaurants all are closing right next door to us, like permanently closing because they've lost 90% of their income. Uh, small businesses are having to let go of their employees. Uh, Six, 600,000 kids are not in school for the next six weeks. Wow. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, stay okay. home, stay home and wait. I mean, that's what, that's what's going on right now. You know, all, obviously all the major sporting events, um, all the, you know, the Seattle Comic Con, which is a huge event here, you know, all the major events got shut down. So everything is, it is, it's, it's desolate it's around here. a lot here. of fear. So basically outside your office, there's crickets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're going out and, you know, we're, eating out for lunch, eating out for dinner, trying to go around, support the local businesses and, you know, do as much as we can um, to help everybody. Cause it is, I mean, people are literally closing their doors and, you know, I mean, one guy shut down 12 restaurants. So a thousand people that work for him are out of a job right now. Now that's just one example. And it's, it's happening everywhere in the city. Yeah, that's amazing. So when you think about that herd mentality, so now people don't even go downtown. But, and you're not no. right in downtown, but you're like right next to downtown. I mean, Fremont, you're literally one yeah. bridge away from downtown. That's right. Yeah. yeah, so they're driving through that to get to you. So, so those people, if they make one trip, if they leave their house through the day, they're going to the chiropractor. That's right. Yeah. That's what yeah. they're telling us. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So It is amazing. Yeah, so how, what, what do you attribute that to? I mean, not elite and not what I've taught you, but how you taught the psychology and how you talk to people. Do you, 
Can you explain yeah, that? At I all? mean, that is what it is. It's it's talking to people. It is. It's the way that that we talk to people. The way that we educate them from day one. You know, they're in they're in for back pain originally, but they're leaving knowing that they're here for a bigger purpose. And right it's on day every one. day talk right on day one. Yeah. And then every day from then. It's strong, healthy body for life. Two most important days, Monday, Friday, you know, and it's, they know that this is not an appointment that they can afford to miss. Right. Uh, you know, and for example, like we have a, you know, pregnant mom comes in and her husband who is homebound right now, cause you know, everybody's working from home, uh, told her she probably shouldn't be going to the chiropractor. Uh, you know, don't you think she should stay home? I don't think you should go. And she said, no way. I mean, she's, you know, pregnant mom. She's like, no way. There's no way I can afford to miss this appointment. I got to go get my body strong. That's what she's telling her most loved person out there. So she came in, which makes all her appointments. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now the next thing is she's like, now she's got to bring her husband. So and I'm sure, right. and yeah. go ahead. he's got plenty of time. You know, he's got plenty of time. And that's what it is. It's like, you know, and his whole environment's changed now. So it's like, hey, listen, if he sees what you're doing, like, it's only it's only the right thing to do to get him in here to get him checked out. Yeah, so now I'm putting out videos on one liners because it's not it really isn't about the information, right? It's yeah. not about the facts of immune system, but you guys know how to handle emotional situations. You need to how to you know how to handle people emotionally. Because it's not the information, because if information would work, nobody would get vaccination. It's the fear of impending doom. That's why people still vaccinate their kids, right? So it's a right. fear. You have actually overcome the fear of impending doom through the psychology that that uh, you learn through day one, day two, the first week. Yeah. And how to yeah. create that lifestyle, culture, and mindset. Yeah, I mean, I, w I want to say we had seven or eight new patients this week, and half or more were all referrals from from current patients, and it's. Like they they just get it, you know, and it, and they do. They want they care and they want to take care of their loved ones. So they get them to the place where they know that that can happen. Right, exactly. So, you know, and what what the message and you guys are just a great example of, um, you know, when you apply it, it works. You're principled. You um, you're committed on a high level to fulfilling your purpose. Like I know everybody does, but sometimes we just don't always have the best strategy. So you've seen, um, you've seen businesses closing around you. I mean, what do you think it would be like with back pain patients? Do you, have you had any patients come in? Do you have any patients that are back pain patients that you just weren't able to convert them or are all of them into lifestyle culture? They, they're pretty much all into lifestyle culture. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's why you have your percent kept appointments, right? Because some people are like, well, yeah. I have some of this and I have some of that. And that's the problem. Right? Isn't that what fractures your practice from the inside out? Yeah. So really, I know I'm doing a little bit of the talking right here. The important thing of what you guys represent, and you can comment on this, is going from fear into confidence. Like, what are people willing to do when they have the confidence? They're willing to go against everything everybody else does because mm -hmm. their purpose and confidence is at a higher level. So what do you guys... I mean, you talked about that pregnant women. What other things are you hearing from patients? I mean, the biggest thing we're hearing from people is that this is the place that they need to be to keep their body strong and healthy. And that, you know, if they want to defend their bodies from the inside out, this is where they need to be. So it's a lot of people that this is the best part of their day is coming into our office and getting care and just continuing that in their bodies. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, like this wasn't something that people expected. So there's a handful of patients that either like just got a new job or just bought a house and then all this is hitting and they're just getting overloaded with stress and now fear. So it is, it's like, you know, take it, take an extra minute with this person and just get them from their state of fear and talk them through it. And now like let them know that their body's meant to be strong and healthy, be confident in that. And it totally is like everybody is so thankful you can see it in their face and you can just see when they come in they're they're kind of stressed and then when they get to talk to us and they get to go through this you know their visit it, you can see it just go off their face and they're like they're so thankful that we are communicating the way that we're communicating especially with everything that's going on and it's so important for everybody 
I mean, it's, it's mass hysteria going on in Seattle right now. Mm -hmm. So any bit of just confidence and you know, positivity, positivity, and it's all that. And it's going to create, I mean, that's really what this whole thing's about. That's so awesome, man. Yeah. So I was going to say, if you had one last thing that you'd like to say to chiropractors and to people out there, it sounds like you just said it, but if there's anything, I mean, I don't think it gets any better than that. Like in, in a world of mass hysteria, is some confidence and, and positivity a great reason why to go to a, to a corrective care chiropractor? But if there was anything else you had to add, what would be one last thing? You never know when these things are going to happen, right? So we were talking about how thankful we are that we've started this a year ago. Because I can't imagine what our practice would look like today if we hadn't been training our patients on a day-to-day -day basis on the importance of taking care of their bodies and changing their mindset it would have been a really different friday for us for sure. yeah, and what was your percent kept appointments today friday the last day of the week today today we did uh yeah today we did 90 percent, and last friday was 97 so nice awesome hey well thank you for being a today's world representative principled purpose-driven and even even more importantly, intelligent chiropractors, because we're not just banging our head against the wall in the principle. You're actually applying a message that's more than just principle, that reads people emotionally, that's making a difference in today's world. So, hey, love you guys. Appreciate you. I love our relationship. I've, I've loved what we've done in the last year. And uh, we're just going upward from here. So... Thanks so That's much. Right. That's right. Thank you, Dr. Thank Brett. you. Peace.